On this show, we speak our minds and open yours. This is Bongari 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 Drama Drama. It's the headlines. Tempers flare as Parktown Bowl's pedophile case is postponed. Donald Trump denies reports about him using iPhones and tweets sent from an iPhone. The struggle to identify SA's dead thousand buried anonymously each year. Good afternoon. These are your news updates. Angry family and committee members gathered at the sentencing proceedings of convicted sex pastor Colin Rex. This anger came after the state said on Wednesday that important reports that should have been completed over a month ago had yet to be finalized. This matter further installed the conclusion of Rex's sordid saga. The matter is being heard at the South African Gauteng High Court sitting in the Palm Ridge, Palm Ridge Magistrate Court in Ekuruleni. Prosecutor Advocate Arvina Pesat said the information she received was that the reports had yet to be completed. Despite there being eight probation officers who had been appointed to compile a report to be presented for Rex sentencing. Pesat added that the reports will be finalized by November 27th. The delay drew the entire ire, beg your pardon, of Judge P. Johnson, who said he was very upset because officer had ample time to complete these reports. Donald Trump has said he seldom uses iPhone in one of a series of tweets sent from an iPhone, responding to an article that allegedly he could be accidentally divulging state secrets by chatting about them on his own insecure smartphones. He said that he only uses government-issued phones, that he seldom uses them anyway, and that the report has to false for him to have time to correct. The so-called experts on Trump over the New York Times wrote a long and a boring article on my cell phone usage that is incorrect. I do not have time here to correct it, he posted on Twitter. I only use government phones and have only one seldom used government cell phones, he wrote in one of many of his tens of thousands of tweets posted using an iPhone story so wrong, he mentioned. After handling the body of a man who died from blunt force trauma in an apparent vehicle crash, forensic anthropologist Trisha Jean Mahon turned to the next gurney in the neon-lit room of the mortuary in Johannesburg. Like many corpses there, this one had no identity. Oh, he had tattoos, she said, peering closely that the crudely sketched letters on the young man's left leg. Now, tattoos, DNA and scars are vital clues that Malone, 28, and the mainly female team of forensic scientists collect in a bid to identify the thousands of people who are buried anonymously each year. Most of them are believed to be migrants who've come in search of work in particularly to Johannesburg. The huge member, number, beg your pardon, of identified bodies passing through the country's mortuaries is a burden on the state and presents a moral dilemma to forensic scientists. Once people are buried in grasslands outside the city, after three months of most, their chances of ever being identified are close to zero. It's 14.03 right here on brandlive.co.za. Next up is a dramatic talk with Bongani Drama. Tell that I'm coming closer And I don't wanna see no females acting fresh when I show up And when I see you my heart's roller coaster I forget about the pasta the Luhoiwa I don't got no other lover in mind And if we're gonna take this forward catch me outside And I just can't take my eyes off you I can tell you know it's in the glow up I forget who you with Tell who you are I don't got no other lover in mind, oh If you wanna take this forward, catch 
me outside, yeah. Forever, maybe we can be something later. I have to go, I won't regret ya. Feel so good, I won't forget ya. Say something good. To I me. don't got no other lover in mind. If we're gonna take this forward, catch me outside. I don't got no other baby in mind. If we're gonna make this happen, let's do it right. Hopefully you're having quite an amazing one. It's October the 31st and I'm hoping that uh, wherever you are in the world, you're going to be celebrating quite stunning for yourself. November is coming on. November is around the corner. November is actually tomorrow. A big, big thank you to Chairman Makado on Heroes at Work. Keeping you in the loop from 1.30, folks. Thank you so much. Coming up on the show, right here on the Dramatic Talk is daughter and mother-in-law rivalry on uh, the Convo Corner. I want to find from you. Hashtag the Convo Corner at Bongani and it's called Drama Brand Live Radio on Twitter, brandlive.co. Dot ZA on Facebook as well. Uh, I was just wondering from you if you've ever been now, uh, you know, part of a, a daughter and mother in law rivalry, and uh, if uh, perhaps uh, you know anyone who's p- been part of it, let us know. 0621729002 as our WhatsApp line. Uh, send a voice note and uh, keep it anonymous if you want to, as much as possibly as you can. Drama team coming through, family of double HP not recognizing Lerato Singadi. Uh, quite scary. Uh, Jermaine Dupree not with Super Bowl boycotts, use uh, the platform. Rose Rataka is not here today and, uh, but, you know, your sports set are going to be coming through at 2.30. We have them right here on the, the Dramatic Talk. And your last news update uh, coming up also at 10 to 3. Just to say, before we say goodbye to you and uh, Fashion Fred also coming through, some of amazing uh, fashion news that we, uh, you know, going to be uh, having uh, coming through. However, folks, it's the 1st of October, as I mentioned to you. And not only are uh, we, uh, you know, are saying goodbye to the month of October, but it's also Halloween. Hey, happy Halloween to each and every one of you out there. Now, Halloween, an annual holiday celebrated each year on October 31st and Halloween 2018 on Kyozon Wednesday, which is today, the 31st of October. Now, it originated with the ancient Celtic festival of the Samhain, uh, you know, when people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off ghosts. The evening before was known as All Hallows Eve and later Halloween. So, uh, happy Halloween to you. Something interesting also happening in South Africa is that uh, on Friday marks exactly 20 20 years since the Truth and Reconciliation Commission hearings began. Now, debate still rages on whether the post apartheid leadership chose reconciliation over justice, right? Now, uh, Measury Jobson, uh, director of the Kulumani support group, says he hopes that on the anniversary, Janus Walus, uh, who murdered uh, Chris Hani, will disclose the full truth of what transpired. So, uh, you know, can't wait to see that happening also a little bit later. However, folks, as I've told you, I'd like to hear from you. We always love hearing from you at Bongani and Ascot Drama Brand Live Radio on Twitter, brandlive.co.za on Facebook as well. It's 9 after 2 Central African time. Welcome aboard the Dramatic Talk. As cool as many in the Convo Corner. Check this out. It's time for the Convo Corner.
It is absolutely time for the Convo Corner. And what we're talking about today, Convo Corner, is daughter and mother in law rivalry. I mean, look, it happens in most families, and I'm sure it has happened to your family as well. So uh, let me know. Let me know how uh, you, know, you have dealt with it, or if it's happening, if it's really hindering the relationship between your own mom and the daughter in law, or, you know, a vis a vis, however it could be. Now, in law, relationships can play an important role in an individual or a couple's lives. Now, these relationships can influence the quality of the married couple's relationship. It can serve as a source of stress or support as well. Now, furthermore, there are numerous factors that influence in-law relationships. Now, although the area of mother and daughter-in-law has been fairly, you know, thoroughly researched in the Western countries, these appear to be lack of information concerning mother and daughter-in-law relating to Africa, especially in South Africa. So, there's no specific way of, you know, how to deal with the mother-in-law or how to deal with the daughter-in-law because perhaps, you know, the daughter-in-law is not someone you probably thought your son would be getting married to. Now, I think it was a universal phenomenon in the past that has died down in many areas. Now, I came to this conclusion when I read about 500 wise things from around the world two years ago. Now, there were several commodities, uh, the strongest one being about the rivalry between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law. Now, folks, for example, in Italy, it's great luck to be married without having a mother-in-law. Can you imagine? It is luck. said to be like great luck if you are getting married to a family where there's no mother-in-law. In Wales, the mother-in-law does not remember she was once a daughter-in-law so you're gonna have quite uh, you know a, 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 quite a trouble time in spain worship the well your mother-in-law fell into but don't drink its water listen to that again worship the well your mother-in-law fell into but don't drink from its water so go in but don't do all of the things that she has been doing now saudi arabia mother-in-law and daughter-in-law are suspicious of each other yeah well it's just like south africa germany it is the best to have an acri nearby and mother-in-law very very far away from you in finland the servant after hears uh, i beg your pardon often hears praise but the daughter-in-law never does in russia an evil mother-in-law also also has ears at the back of her head so uh, you must know that your mother-in-law is constantly looking at what you're doing and how you're doing it as well now as you can see a mother-in-law used you know to get uh, demonized basically everywhere so it's like a demon everywhere you go in Italy could be Finland could be Germany could be Russia it's still the same you know as in South Africa as in the US and everywhere else now here's some of the reasons of the rivalry you are probably not the partner your in-laws would have chosen for their child as mentioned you're probably not what the mom or the dad was was looking for in their son or you know it, perhaps it, you know could be their daughter as well uh, if it's a lesbian uh, you know type of a relationship uh, and so why uh, it, it does become such a, uh, a debacle in the families uh, now you are too attractive perhaps you look too attractive uh, because the mother-in-law perhaps thinks uh, you're wearing too many uh, you know mini skirts and you need to probably close it up a little bit uh, you might be looking lighter uh, you know than the mother-in-law as well so uh, uh, that could actually hinder the relationship with you and your mother-in-law it is that serious folks it's not even like a joke it is that's serious mothers of man may unconsciously uh, discourage long-term relationships which is something else right uh, you know to say yeah my son you're not gonna get uh, you know you're not gonna be in a relationship with this woman for uh, the very longest of time she's got nails on she doesn't clean the house she doesn't do all these things but at the end of the evening folks is it even about uh, you know the mother-in-law or is it a bit about love between the both of you direct competition for resources and attention as well the mother-in-law might feel that the daughter-in-law is taking too much attention away you know uh, from from her son and uh, that becomes uh, another debacle that can really cause the rivalry now here's a story from anonymous mentioning my boyfriend and i have been together for two years and are planning to get married the problem i have is with his mother obviously now he's the only child his father died five years ago when we met she took on an instant dislike to me she has remained friends with one of his former girlfriends can you imagine who apparently visits her she continually uh, says what a wonderful person the ex is i know a lot of my friends that uh, mention how they're not married uh, but you know they've got ex-boyfriends and uh, and they're, they're now in new relationships and mention how their mother-in-law is in actual fact uh, still friends with the ex-girlfriend which I don't understand because then why are you friends with your your son's ex-girlfriend to start off with why were you be, being friends with them to start off with you know so it becomes really uh, such a huge thing now she further mentions she's always saying that she's ill so that uh, the boyfriend will visit her but I'm never invited now if we are in the same room she ignores me 
completely, which I find very disrespectful. My boyfriend says I'm imagining things and say uh, she will learn to love me once we are married. I doubt this. I doubt this, she mentions. And I mean, look, it could be anything. And I mean, uh, you know, as, as the son, you'll never see this because this is your mom at the end of the evening. And uh, so you're bringing your girlfriend or you bring your wife uh, you know, to see your mom. And your mom is particularly uh, probably never happy about, uh, you know, the choices you've made. Now, we haven't told her yet out of our plans to get married and I'm dreading it when we do. I love my boyfriend so much. I don't know whether we should go ahead with the wedding. I don't know, folks. Have you ever been in a similar situation where you find yourself uh, where the mother-in-law is constantly just calling your boyfriend to say, oh, your husband to say, I'm sick and you're never invited to come through. You know, or oh, it could be anything. I want to go buy groceries. I want to do this only to, you know, take the uh, uh, the attention away from you so much that the attention is drawn back, uh, back to her. Ways to resolve conflict between mother and wife. I wonder how, you know, this uh, pans out, especially in uh, black families where you find that, uh, you know, uh, the, the daughter-in-laws don't really cook anymore. They don't really clean anymore. They don't even make tea for the mother and the father-in-law anymore. So uh, it really becomes a way, uh, you know, that uh, the debacle goes on and on and on. However, here are some, you know, ways of how to resolve the conflict if you're listening. Now, listen to mother. Lend an ear to your mother. So listen to the mother-in-law. Whatever they say, you might not like it, but just listen to what they have to say. Listen to wife. Your wife is the second most important woman in your life. So this is obviously how you can deal with it as, as a husband or as a boyfriend. Do not get over involved consider the matters at hand so don't get into it because then you will end up having to choose sides between your wife and your mom or your girlfriend and your mom now use your judgment you are grown up and sensible enough to understand the state of affairs right which is quite important now researchers who study in law conflicts also suggest ways of you know to overcome these difficulties now advises that the best way to deal with these conflicts is to try to convince your in-laws that you're good mate for their child by showing how much you care for your spouse additionally if you're not yet married more one-on-one -on -one contact with your future in-laws prior to your marriage may facilitate better relationships after the wedding however if an in-law conflict persists you must put your marriage first individuals who feel supported by their spouses in their conflicts with their in-laws experience more satisfying marriages right i'm gonna repeat that individuals who feel supported by their spouses in their conflicts with their in-laws experience more satisfying marriages so if you're gonna be uh, having a fight with your in law you know mother-in-law and your spouse needs to be with you whether they love their mom so much or not but it builds the relationship also the research mentions on how then uh, you know maybe introduce yourself before you become the wife as the girlfriend still go to the parents you know introduce yourself uh, they must know who you are and uh, perhaps uh, you know the uh, the relationship could grow but also I'm gonna throw it back to black families who don't believe in that you don't believe in uh, why are you bringing your girlfriend are you married yet have you paid the lobola yet so it really becomes a debacle when it comes to uh, you know black African families uh, to be precise and African families it really really becomes a huge thing when you find the boy can bring or the man uh, can bring the, the the girlfriend or the wife you know home before marriage happens because then they already uh, the, you know the family could already be thinking other things on they're now moving in together or whatever the case may be so it really really does become such a debacle however a story of a friend of mine who uh, has a uh, you know problems with mother-in-law mother-in-law is always saying to her uh, she must dress properly mother-in-law is saying that she must never ever see her friends ever again because she finds that her friends are not good friends to her but obviously the mother-in-law has met the friends you know once or twice so it becomes really such a problem on whether the daughter-in-law uh, must now uh, you know, listen to the mother-in-law or continue doing what they have been doing. And uh, obviously the daughter-in-law wants to do things their own way now that they're married. So uh, yeah, really, really my friend is going through a lot and uh, I'm hoping that they deal with the situation you know, themselves. And uh, I don't want to you know, uh, you know, get to a point where now my friend is not really, really happy with the mother-in-law to a point where she now starts divorcing because it can lead to that, can lead to a literally uh, you know, a divorce. And when when kids are involved, I was really, really becomes such a huge debacle. Alrighty, folks, I want to find out from you what you think and what's your take. And if you have been to a, you know, a similar uh, situation, let us know. Hashtag Convo Corner at Bungani and score drama at Live Radio on Twitter, BrentLive.co.za on Facebook. It's 19 after 2 Central African time. Coming up on the other side of this is drama attainment. However, right now, though, a little bit of thinking about you. Uh, and this one is Flossist right here on drama attainment, right here on the dramatic talk on BrentLive.co.za. Stick around. Drama attainment coming through. I remember you I remember we I remember laying my head on your chest and listening to your heart beat The way you called me queen The way you called me queen 
remember before they came I remember before we tamed I remember the weight of your body As you held me close The way you whispered my name Ah The way you whispered My name
just lit mass Me and Witchy mix well like feasters You tell me I'm a homosa with the bad senorita They call my number when they looking for a feature I'm Cali Opa Gante in the streets bro These Benny Blanc folks trying to get my pizza They trying to cut the cup and sell it over cheaper Live.co.za. If you just tuned in, welcome to it. And uh, you're right in time for Drama Team. And however, an amazing double play. Ross to Yano Boom, like we that just played you. And for that one, I played you thinking about you. Floss is so on to it. It's time for Drama Team. It is absolutely time for drama attainment. And the first story I have for you on drama attainment is last week South Africa learned of the passing of yet another music industry heavyweight, Double HP. Now, Rose broke the news on the last news bulletin last week. Now, Double HP died on October 24 in a suspected suicide. In a statement released by his family on the day, it said Double HP was survived by his wife. However, in a spin of events, the family of Double HP have released a statement dismissing suggesting that Lerato Singadi is the late rapper's widow, the Sowetan report. Now, according to the paper, a family spokesperson said that Lerato was never married to the rapper and claimed she walked out of her own accord last year. The spokesperson also made claims surrounding the day of WHP's death and the family drama had happened when Lerato allegedly asked for documents pertaining to the musician. The day after his death, Lerato shared a picture of herself with WHP and quoted lines from his song Harambe. Now, he previously spoke about the ending his life several times, including being in his car listening to Frank Ocean with the horse pipe, supplying gas from the car's Exhaust. Now, folks, I mean, look, it has been quite a sad, sad week for South African, you know, music industry as a whole. I mean, uh, you know, from losing uh, people like Brown Dash to losing to, you know, a lot of other, you know, amazing artists recently and uh, having to lose WHP from depression. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of uh, celebrities coming out with their own stories of depression and how they have been dealing with it. And I see a lot of other people as well, you know, who are not merely uh, celebrities, but uh, speaking about depression and, you know, trying to get, uh, you know, to uh, inform themselves and educate themselves a little bit more. So uh, please educate yourself as part of as you know, most possibly as you can. We've spoken about depression right here and anxiety right here on the show on the Convo Corner. We've spoken about it before and I've always said that uh, check, you know, out on people. Uh, you know, call someone, find out how they're doing and uh, if they've always been said, saying to you that, uh, you know, they've always going to commit suicide, keep checking on them. Keep checking on how they're doing and, you know, how they're coping, how they're dealing with their situation. Alrighty, the next story I have for you right here on Drama Team it is Jermaine Dupri not with the Super Bowl boycotts. Use the platform he mentioned. Now, Jermaine Dupri says artists like Jason Reed Hana, who boycotted the Super Bowl, have it all wrong because they missed out on an opportunity to promote their cause on the biggest stage. Now, Rihanna reportedly turned down the halftime show this year, and uh, HOV told the NFL uh, to kick, uh, you know, rocks last year, all because both artists have major issues with the league's treatment of, uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick. Now, the Super Bowl uh, is an ATL this year, uh, Dupree's stomping grounds, and he tells TMZ Sports he thinks the platform of the Super Bowl is more valuable than a boycott. Use it as much possibly as you can. He mentions in a quote, boycotts and ma- marches don't seem like they work for me. I'm so sorry. I think they should send a message while they're on stage. Take advantage of your platform. Now, Dupree says it's totally cool not to do the Super Bowl, you know, in protest as well, but puts it clear that further conversations does more good than ignoring it. Now, the more people speak on it and the more they talk about it, the more uh, people like it. It's something they have to address. I feel like people ignore boycotts. I know, right? And I mean, if it's something that you really, really want to speak about. And instead of 
boycotting it. Maybe, you know, find who the president is, find the person and probably deal with the situation much more simpler than just to boycott the situation. Alrighty, folks, that's what I have for you, Russian right Drama Team. Let me know what you think. Hashtag Drama Team at Bongani and score Drama on Twitter, Brand Live Radio on Twitter, Brand Live to CO today on Facebook as well as 2.30 time for your sports updates. It's time to buckle up. Now, now this is Bongani, 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 Drama, Bongani, Drama. Time to talk about sports. Don't touch that dial. It's time for the sports news and the sporting stars of tomorrow right here on Grand Live. <laughs> It's 2.30 and it is time for your sports headlines. Solina's admins' is chopping and changing of Chiefs lineups has affected the club's consistency and late blooming boxer Justo Sliga has grown a heart. Why not? FIFA boss says for the 18s feasible for Qatar World Cup. Good afternoon. These are your news updates on brandlive.co.za. Kansas Chiefs' recent results have not been acceptable. Amakosi coach Giovanni Solinas has admitted. Solinas said that injuries have been part of the problem in Chiefs losing from in October from a good month in September, but admitted that his own chomping and changing of lineups had played some parts too. Now, Chiefs' 2 1 so to Derby Amps Premiership defeat against Orlando Pirates at FNB Stadium on Saturday was their fourth game without a win in regulation time. Before that, their results had been a 0 to nil away league draw against the Highlands Park, 1 to nil home league defeat against Polokwane City, and penalties home telecom knockout in against Black Leopards. The lesson is that we have not collected the results. I agree, no results. Solinas admitted. He further mentioned, We need to take responsibility in front of our club and in front of our fans because I wanted the video and our fans who crying, our fans who came for the derby, uh, traveling two or three days, this has affected them. We need results. We have not collected points. We lost against Pirates. Long against uh, Polokwane. Went to penalties against Leopards. No good results uh, to be honest. Uh, FIFA President Gianni Infantino said expanding the 2022 World Cup to 12, 48 teams, a big pardon, was feasible on Wednesday as host Qatar pledged to come to decision in the early part of next year. Infantino said, why not bring forward the expansion from 32 teams to 48, which is currently due at the 2026 tournament in the United States, Canada and Mexico. He mentioned we've decided to increase the number of teams participating in the World Cup final tournaments from 32 to 48. Now, Infantino told the Asian Football Confederation at annual Congress in Kuala Lumpur. Now, it will happen in 2026, it will happen in 2022. You know me, it is possible. It is possible, why not? He added. Now, Infantino said an expanded tournament will see Alcia allocation rise from 4.5 places to 8.5, raising chairs from the delegates assembled in a luxury hotel in the Malaysian capital as well. And lastly, lastly, another one, late blooming boxer Justice Liga has grown a heart and a much improved Justice Liga wants to outbox a flow Simba and uh, in the new, uh, you know, that is going to be coming through and I can't wait uh, to see that one coming. It's 14.33 Central African time right here on the dramatic talk on the other side of this fashion fight is coming through. Stick around. This is what you missed on the social show. My first question then is, where are these hubs of economic development? Which township do I find a hub of economic development? Why must, if the focus is really capacitating the disadvantaged, why must I climb onto Travel. three, four taxis to get to a Santin area? A Santin area has got about six to even 20 of these, right? Mm. Coming from Alexander or Tembisa. So you then find that there is a township economy, but the people that are living within this township economy that are starting businesses in this township economy are not full participants of this township economy. For more, go to www.brandlife.co.za. Come witness the crowning of our first Gauteng ambassador, Mohale Centenary Hall in Kruger's Drop, 17th of November. Become the first ambassador, Mr. Icon Gauteng. Mr. Icon Gauteng is the first male pageant, giving our youth 18 to 30 years the opportunity to become ambassador of Gauteng province. VIP tickets uh, gives access to VIP reception area with refreshments and a front row refreshments will be available at the venue. General admission is 150 rands, VIP 300 rands. 8 Eel of Street Kruger's Drop at 1740 for directions. Please visit uh, ticketpro.co.za. Become the first Mr. Icon Gauteng.
now, now. This is Bongari 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 Drama Bongari Drama Slowly changing, the shit is crazy, it's not amazing Well I love it when you're talking crazy But these days you don't love me, you only claim it Well the haters gotta hate, you don't love me, don't debate I give you love, you perpetrate, broken hearted, I relate Gotta get my mind straight, girl I loved you and only you You don't understand, fuck boys got feelings too You used to be my girl, I used to be your man We used to make love, then we pop a zan We used to be a team, it was never you It was never me, it was all this we It's a jungle out there, come and climb a tree They say love is blind, cause you never see This one is probably produced by Scooby DJ. Bring us amazing music. And before that one, I played you an amazing one by Ralph for Unforgiven. Uh, quite a stunning one. It's actually uh, quite a deep house track that I love so much. A brand new one. And uh, I'm hoping that it rotates at, uh, you know, around radio stations as much as possibly as it can. It's the 1444 Central African Time Raj in the dramatic talk on prelive.co.za on Street Twitter's time for Fashion Fade. Fashion, Fashion Fade. All right, so folks, here's something fantastic for you. Six last minute Halloween costumes you can add for under 300 rands. So if you are running late, perhaps you forgot it today was Halloween. Happy Halloween to you. And, uh, you know, here's some of the uh, fun facts and some of the, you know, fun costumes you might get for yourself. If uh, you're attending that Halloween party today, you can get them on www.w24.co.za. Now, it is that wonderful time of the year where we dress up as ghosts and ghouls. You know, all the current latest uh, 
club culture sensation uh, and go out and have fun. So, uh, you know, obviously, if you want to dress up as a ghost or you want to dress up as your uh, favorite celebrity, your favorite pop culture celebrity, uh, and, uh, you know, personally love handing out candy uh, to everyone in my office on the day and usually I do a bit dressing up in myself. But sometimes you just need uh, to have, uh, you know, some money uh, for, for really dope costumes, right? Uh, for really dope costumes. So, uh, if you are late, here's some of the uh, most amazing things you can do. If you want to look like Ariana Grande in the God is a Woman music video, what you'll need is a white bodysuit, purple paint, purple hairspray, and a ponytail. Now, get this white bodysuit from Mr. Price for 79 rands, and then some body paint like these from Art Attack, which will range from about 35 to 55, and get creative. Spray some purple hairspray in your hair, or uh, you know, get a hair chuck from Crazy Store for about 50 rands. Lavender color uh, decorate your hair. You can find a cheap lavender lipstick in a Chinatown store, or try this lip gloss of essence for about 70 rand so if you want to look like ariana grande there so uh, maybe you can do it yourself if you want to look like rosie yeah the river tear uh, you know what you'll need is a red head scarf a denim shirt and jeans and you know optionally big hoop earrings as well those huge earrings now the feminist hero never goes out of style get the denim shirt from mr price for 179 rands and wear a pair of your favorite jeans while making sure you tie your red scarf or bandana around your head the proper way and off you go to Halloween. If you want to look like Anna Winter, the amazing fashion god, what you need is big round glasses, a bob or wig if you're not ready to commit, a fur fur coat or floral dress. Now wear your most fashionable outfit or check out pictures of Anna online and get something similar if you want to wear and look like her. Don't forget your Vogue magazine as you want to look like her. And the Queen of Hearts, what you'll need is a deck of cards, glue, red lipstick and a cute red outfit. Now get the deck of cards and glue them all together to to make yourself a neck piece and then use your fave red lipstick to draw a heart on your lips pair it with a nice red dress or top and skirt and look you're good to go the dummy from so what you'll need to look like a dummy from so white face paint red lip liner and lipstick black eyeliner and a red bow tie and a white shirt and jeans now you know this look uh, Get a white face paint from Crazy Store for about 30 rands or hack it and ask your lightest friend uh, to lend some foundation and then dust uh, Mazina over this. This is what they did. Now, works like a charm. Then draw red circles on your face with red liner and you can, uh, you know, add uh, two black lines down the corners of your mouth to give the whole dummy effect. So, if you want to look like a dummy there, uh, then you can do that for yourself. Wow, quite interesting, folks. Visit www.w24.co.za if you are in any, you know, fact, uh, you know, attending any Halloween party. Uh, uh, this evening you forgot that Halloween is happening under 300 rands. You want to look like uh, Maya Wallace from Pulp Fiction? Well, here's what you're gonna need. A white t-shirt, a uh, piggy pound and white shirt, uh, back pants and a black bob as well. Now this one is simply but quite easy. You just need a long white shirt like uh, this one that uh, you know they're wearing from Mr. Price at only 140 rands over black pants. It'll need a barefoot uh, for really complete the look. You could even draw a little blood coming from your nose to allude to when she overdosed in the movie if you want to look like her as if you want to look like Serena Williams what you'll need is a tutu a headband armbands a sneaker and a tennis racket that's all you're going to be needing we're one of uh, GOT's the most iconic looks from this year you can get a tutu from crazy store for just uh, 50 rands and just paid with a black t-shirt or sports shirt you have one and don't forget your sneakers then you need to style your hair like hers and you'll need uh, armbands and a headband as well which you can get from clicks for only about 30 rands and you can borrow a tennis racket from your sports friend however the case may be Randy folks I hope I helped you out right Jeff you want to get yourself amazing you know uh, clothing for Halloween this evening and uh, obviously for the rest of the week if you are you know part of the people that really enjoy Halloween and uh, maybe you can do that for yourself I don't know I'm wondering who I need to look like I'll figure out and let you know next week who I look like alrighty folks it's uh, one minute to be four ten to three right in the dramatic talk on brandlive.co.za on the other side of this your lost news updates stick around Living as One Events presents Couples Love Fest 2018 Featuring relationship talks, couples counseling, men and women's breakaway sessions, couples dance and lots more Happening Golden Rose Lodge 419 York Avenue Ferndale 17 November 2018 at 12 noon Register at www.livingisoneevents.com or RSVP on 078-255-4517. Tickets at 250 per couple. Your relationship will be renewed in love. 
This is what you missed on brandlife.co.za. Um, we're broadcasting live in one of the boxes at 27 boxes. Hey, can I ask you something then? Can you please tell me, like, do you think like the post 90s, ne? like, did they really uh, fully integrate, you know? Sure. Since we're talking about integrating today, though. But uh, you do what? Civil engineering? Civil engineering, yeah. Okay, and how's that going for you? It's okay. So, it's a whole fine. lot of studying? School. It's a lot of studying. And I banking guess. school. A lot of banking school. I lot. don't bank school. Like, I just don't go to school when they tell us not to go. Lies. I mean, oh, no. I've, seen, I've seen this with my eyes. Lies. Someone was saying, I'm sure there's 10 soapies now happening. Listen. Same time. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to say something, right? That might, say it. that might sound like I'm shading or hating yeah. or whatever. There's lots of work for actors right now. But lots of actors aren't working. Lots of people mm. are acting. Ooh. Inside book <laughs> Now, this is Bongari, 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 Drama, Bongari, Drama. It's the headlines. It's 14.51 and it's time for your lost news updates. The struggle to identify SA's dead thousands buried anonymously each year. Donald Trump denies report about him using iPhones in tweet sent from an iPhone. And Patricia DeLille, it's my last day as Cape Town Mayor and DA member. Good afternoon. After handling the body of a man who died from a blunt force trauma in an apparent vehicle crash, forensic anthropologist Trisha Jean Mahon turned to the next Gurna in the neon lit room for the mercury in Johannesburg. Like many corpses there, this one had no identity. Tattoos, DNA and scars are vital clues that Mahon, 28, and her mainly female team of forensic scientists collect in a bid to identify the thousands of people who are buried anonymously each year. Most of them are being uh, to be migrants, believed I beg your pardon, to be migrants who've come in search of work and particularly to Johannesburg. The huge number of identified bodies passing through the country's mortuaries is a burden on the state and presents a moral dilemma to forensic scientists. Once people are buried in grasslands outside of the city, after three months at most, their chances of over being identified are close to zero. Once it's on track, the Red Cross hopes to roll it out in other African countries as well. Donald Trump has said that he seldom uses his iPhone in one of the series of tweets sent from an iPhone. Responding to an article that alleged he could be accidentally divulging state secrets by chanting about them on his own insecure smartphones, he said that he only uses government-issued phones and he seldom uses them anyway and that the report was too false for him to have time to correct. The so-called experts on Trump over the New York Times wrote a long and boring article on my cell phone usage that is so incorrect I do not have time here to correct it. He posted on Twitter. I only use government phones and have only one seldom used government cell phone. He wrote in one of many of his uh, tens of thousands of tweets posted using an iPhone. Story is so wrong. The message was posted from Twitter, own app from the iPhone, as shown by the company's own tweet declined. Mr. Trump has repeatedly suggested he posts his own tweets, many of which are posted from the iPhone. He has sent three tweets over the morning, including the one in which he claimed to really use the mobile phone, all of which were posted using an iPhone. All of Mr. Trump's written posts have been sent using an Apple handset. Patricia DeLille confirmed on Wednesday that it will be her last day as mayor of Cape Town and as a DA member. Standing on the steps of the High Court in Cape Town, DeLille said that she had decided to withdraw the letter of resignation she gave to DA leader Musi Maiman on August 4th. DeLille was speaking after filing papers challenging the siege of Cape Town's acceptance of a report from law firm Bowman Glifflin that led to criminal charge against her. DeLille said her resignation will take effect at 7 p.m. today. She mentioned there are two Two more councillors uh, who have resigned from DA effective today. More councillors are going to resign. I will take questions. I have to go and clear my office. Five DA councillors uh, resigned from the city of Cape Town and the DA and Dalil's final council meeting last week. This is a developing story. Alrighty, that's what I have for you right here on your Lost News Updates 1455. You're still streaming in on the dramatic talk on brandlive.co.za.
sweet and sour That is what you are A lonely lover That is what you made me You got me fixated on all your up and down reactions Wondering how you gonna act when you sing the next time Baby boy, you got me going crazy But you never alone, never alone baby. You the sweetest lady I've ever, I've ever known baby. Have a deep connection when we talk on the phone, the phone baby. But always needing me when I'm in the zone Damn, I never wanna see you frown I never wanna let you down We rock nation Baby, we gon' run this town You're the queen to my king Come on, Matsuso. This one is titled uh, Sweet and Sour, right on brandlife.co.za. If you just streamed in, folks, this is the dramatic talk with myself, Bongani, drama, right on brandlife.co.za. Broadcasting live from 27 Boxes in Melville. Now, 27 Boxes is located right to the center of Melville. You can come through for yourself and check it out. It is, uh, you know what, the stores that are here, they are literally inside boxes, including a studio. It's so stunning. It's so the facilitate, you know, facilities here. I think party and actually quite amazing and quite stunning as well. This is Gateway. We've just streamed in to say goodbye to you. It's a 14.58 Central African time. On the Convo Corner, we're talking daughter and mother-in-law rivalry. Thank you so much for all your comments coming through. Hashtag the Convo Corner at Bungania and it's called Drama. At Brent Live Radio on Twitter, BrentLive.co. On Facebook as well. Dramatainment came through and we looked at the family of WHP not recognizing Lerato Singadi. Another story that's unfolding there. And Joanne Dupree says not with the Super Bowl ball cards use the platform so no to you know boycotting the super bowl from artists especially jason rihanna i gave you a sports uh, news at uh, 2 30 and uh, you know i uh, have some news as well at uh, 10 to 3 and fashion fair i gave you some of the amazing tips uh, you know some of the uh, clothes that you want for halloween tonight if you've forgotten uh, www.w24.co.za folks thank you so much for streaming in it has been a pleasure it has been another amazing installment of the dramatic talk right on brandlife.co Today. Uh, to each and every one of you writing the exams out there in the country and everywhere else in the world, good luck to you and I pray that you've studied hard and you've uh, worked hard and you're going to be uh, playing even harder when you pass. Uh, good luck to Rose Rataka as well. Can't wait to have you back. Alrighty, it's uh, one minute before 3pm right here on the Dramatic Talk on brandlive.co.za I bring you on by Cedric and uh, Cedric, uh, you know, as a backup dancer for Mafi Uzo Lupata. He then decided, to, you know, he's going to take a toe and release music. This one is Total Moon Wamina featuring Busiswa. We'll see you next week with him right here in studio. The name is Bongani Drama. Keep it, know it, and never forget it. Go with the glory and amazing one feather. Bye bye. Okay.
Bobo, yeah, you know what I mean Fan Bobo, yeah, G Gobo, yeah, K Lobo, yeah, you know what I mean Seven boxes in the heart of Melville. This is brandlive.co.za.